Today at Handy Dandy Husband, we will be showing you how to lift up and position your jack stands underneath your 2000 Saturn SL2. This may also be applicable to other vehicles or model years. Stay tuned until the very end and I will show you how to receive a free downloadable PDF of all the tools and instructions on this video. And here is a sample of part of the PDF that you will receive. Alright, the tools that you'll need to lift up the vehicle and jack it are um, a hydraulic floor jack, gloves, a light source, two jack stands, or if you're lifting up the entire vehicle, then four uh, jack stands, a oops, pad or some sort of cushion source for the uh, hydraulic floor jack so that it doesn't mar the underside of the vehicle. You can also customize pucks uh, so that there's a groove inside the puck which fits on top of the floor jack and then that helps lift it up along the welded bead. I don't have a puck made right now, but that will be a future video. And the last bit of information that you'll need is the um, jacking points for the vehicle. And um, this is a diagram of the Saturn SL2. And as you can tell, the dark areas are where you can jack and put the jack stands. And that's what the areas that we'll be using and also be identifying them now. This is the right side of the vehicle. And as you can tell, this is the plastic molding that you can see from the outside. And right next to it is the welded bead, the unibody bead. And this is what you would uh, jack the uh, vehicle up with. This is one area right here. The second area is a little bit further on. And it's this cradle here. And you can see, just from this area here, that's the part that you would uh, lift up on. Now we're gonna, then this is on the right side of the vehicle. We're gonna go to now the right rear side of the vehicle. All right, now we're on the right side rear of the vehicle. And you can see this is the black molding. And here is the welded bead. And the jack would uh, be placed right here in order to lift the vehicle on the right rear side. Now we're on to the very back of the vehicle. Okay, we're the, at the rear of the vehicle, right next to the fuel tank. And just uh, beside the fuel tank, moving towards the forward side of the vehicle, is this bracket here. And this is where you would lift it to lift the entire rear end of the vehicle. You can tell it, this is here. And it's a, it looks like a bracket that holds uh, the suspension for the rear end. One of the items that you should place around your rear wheels if you're lifting the front of the vehicle uh, are wheel chocks and these are just collapsible wheel chocks that I keep in my trunk of my vehicle. They collapse as such and they can um, become chocks and with the wedge shape they just wedge into the tire. Now because I'm lifting one side of the vehicle I'm just putting the chocks on one wheel but of course, if I was lifting the entire vehicle, I would be putting uh, the chocks on both wheels in the rear. All right, so now we're going to lift the front right side of the vehicle. I'm positioning the jacks, hydraulic jack into position underneath the cradle of the suspension area. I'm gonna tighten up the valve. And I'm gonna start lifting. Make sure that it's positioned properly. And as you can tell, I've got a pad uh, taped to the uh, top of my, the surface of my jack. Just gonna lift it all the way up. It's very important never to just use a jack alone. And it's very important to put jack stands underneath the vehicle that you lift it up. And I have the parking brake on and if this the vehicle is on a level concrete surface. Note that if this was an asphalt surface, the pressure that uh, the jack stand would put onto the asphalt would put indents or divots into the asphalt itself.
All right, I've lifted the vehicle to the uh, um, height that I need it to be, and it's cleared the, you can tell from the tire that it's cleared the, the floor area, and now I can take off the tire or work underneath the vehicle for an oil change or for whatever I need it for, to do so. But before I do that, I'm gonna take the handle out, and I'm gonna place these jack stands in areas that I had mentioned earlier. The so one's gonna go here, underneath the weld. And I'll give you a closer shot of that. And as you can see, here is the unibody weld. The jack stand would go underneath there. Alternatively, you could place it along the same cradle where I lifted, but just a little further on, and you could place a, a jack stand there. It's a little harder to reach than this weld, but uh, it is still another second spot that you could put the jack stand in. All right, now I've placed, positioned the jack stand where I need it to be, and I'm going to remove much of the pressure that uh, the jacks, jack, hydraulic jack is actually lifting the car with. Gently release it. As you can see, the jack, jack stand is holding the vehicle now. And just as an added precaution, I'm just gonna use the hydraulic jack And there, just just to make it a little bit taut, just an added uh, safety precaution there. Thanks for watching, guys. And as I said earlier, um, what you can do is click on the link in the description below, and you can then download a PDF instruction on the lifting and jacking points for the 2000 Saturn SL2. Hope you enjoy the video, and see you next time.